Oh, sh should I look at the camera? Oh, sh okay. Beautiful. Mm. Hi, Adam. My name is Fahad Fahmi. I'm currently studying my Bachelor of Civil Engineering at Victoria University. I am midway through my fourth year. Wow. Yeah, and I'm really happy to come and see you today. So, Fahad, it's wonderful to be here with you. I'm Adam Shoemaker. I'm the Vice Chancellor of Victoria University. Now, I should say, what does a Vice Chancellor do? Yeah. Well, it's kind of like with 42,000 students and eight campuses, I'm like uh, the principal of a big school, mm. but we're at the tertiary level. So I love it because this particular university is dual sector, which means we have everything from all the courses at the TAFE level right through to PhDs and beyond. But I just wanted to hear from you, what, why should someone study at Victoria University? Oh look, there's no place like it. I mean, this is the university not just of opportunity and success, yeah. but of employability. We've been ranked number one in the country, two years in a row, for employability skills. So we have this kind of very inbuilt absolutely close relationship with industry of the best sort. So if you're thinking about your career, this is the place. How can Victoria University help me get a job after I graduate? Well, what we want to do is get you a job before you graduate. That's the key. In other words, everyone else says, upon graduation, and we are saying, get as many work experiences as you can built into the curriculum. Get as many placements as you can built into the curriculum. Yeah, and I've actually seen that quite a lot, even from my peers, where actually some of them even secured the job by the second year. Another question I had, uh -huh. so for the Victoria University, one of my favorite things about it is the community and the culture. Yep. I want to hear from you what the, what the community and culture is like at Victoria University. Well, I love it. I mean, I've been to lots of different universities as someone who's worked there. Yeah. I have never been to one which has 167 different languages being spoken by the students. I only speak two. I feel like in completely, you know, at a disadvantage compared yeah. to most of the students. But what's great is that people bring a global perspective. Mm. So that's what's d distinctive here. It's very, very, if you like, a place which is diverse, mm. but inclusive at the same time. What is it that you were surprised by the most at Victoria University? Yeah, so basically when I came to Victoria University, I was really familiar about the block mode. Um, coming from the traditional way, even like from high school, where basically you're doing four subjects at once, five subjects at once, that was very quite tedious and actually made me lose interest in studying. Yes. The block mode has actually changed it. Basically, in high school, I would be lucky if I got 77%. Right. Right now, I'm basically approaching my fourth year, uh -huh. um, midway through my fourth year, actually, and my lowest grade throughout all these years is actually 77%. Oh, that's your lowest? <laughs> lowest grade. So it's gone from highest to lowest. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Um, and that's oh, why that's I've, I've had such a good experience. And what mm. happens with that block mode, it allows me to be interested in that subject. Because essentially, I'll give you an example. Imagine playing soccer for five minutes and mm -hmm. then basketball for five minutes and then yes. basketball for five minutes and then continue on it. Yes. You're not really going to be able to enjoy the game. Sure. And that's what happens here is basically I'm really able to actually focus on that subject and really gain that information, really be interested in that information. What was it you wish you had known when you were in high school that you didn't know? Yeah, that's actually a very good question um, because I remember when I got the ATAR, I felt like the ATAR was me. You know ah. I mean? That's who I was. But then afterwards, I realized and I basically came to the realization that the ATAR is not who I am. What's mm -hmm. more important is basically the passion of what you have and the consistency to work hard, mm -hmm. um, as well as basically ensuring that you surround yourself with a supportive environment. And that's here at Victoria University. I was able to find that I've had the supportive environment to basically help me develop both in a career way and as well as in a personal way.